Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, it's been about a month and a half uh, since I started my last painting project that I finished recently, the von Badenbrock Cuirassiers. It's the first Cuirassier Regiment of the Prussian Seven Years' War Army. Started taking some videos of me painting and working on the, the miniatures because I figured it might be interesting for some people uh, if uh, to see my painting process, how I go about painting my miniatures, basing my miniatures, uh, preparing them and all those kind of kind of things. So I figured I would videotape my process, that way everybody could see how I do it, and uh, give it all to you. Uh, if this is something that everybody is interested in doing, um, uh, let me know, uh, because I do realize that this is the first time I've done something like this. So uh, the camera angles need some work, you know, better, maybe some better lighting, different camera angles, so that uh, closer in camera angles. Again, this is the first time I was doing it. More of a, a concept video to see if, if there's any interest in me putting in the effort to make uh, more videos of this nature and clean it up and, and do a better job. Uh, first time doing it, obviously there's gonna be some mistakes. For example, uh, a number of times I just flat out forgot to take videos uh, later in the day, tired, just come and start painting and then realize after the fact that oh, I should have videotaped that. Or there towards the end of my project on the miniatures, I thought I was recording when I wasn't and then when I thought I was going to finish recording, I actually started recording. So I ended up, what I ended up doing was just recording a lot of nothing. Uh, so that's unfortunate. So what I ended up doing probably towards the latter half of the project, uh, I inserted a couple of still pictures and, uh, and as the voiceover, uh, I'll explain what, it, what my process is for those various steps that I didn't get videotaped. But anyways, if this is something that interests you, if you're interested in knowing how I go about uh, painting my miniatures and preparing my miniatures and basing them up and putting on the flags and those sorts of things. Uh, let me know. I need, uh, give me a comment down below. Give me a like on the video. Uh, subscribe if you aren't subscribed to me. Do these sorts of things so that way I know it's worth putting in the time and effort into these videos. Like I said, I started taking these videos about a month and a half ago when I started painting the project and, and, and it's taken all this time to, to not only paint the miniatures, but you know, put the video together, find some music to put to it, so that way you're not listening to me just ramble on blindly, and uh, and then upload it and, and send it all to you. So, uh, if this is something that you're interested in doing, let me know, so that way I know all of the lead up time uh, to make a video like this is is worth it. So, with that, I shall let you go and uh, we will go on towards the painting of the von Badenbrock Curacers. Thank you very much. Have a great one.
here I must admit that this is where my video ran out after this clip uh, I missed a lot of stuff actually up to this point I missed the sh you know the wash missed the shading missed the highlighting missed painting the uh, the hats boots bridles and uh, doing all of the highlights on those uh, painting the metalwork swords baskets Doing the uh, gold trim, uh, trim for the stirrups. Here we have a uh, final picture. This is before uh, getting ready to do the uh, clear coat. So this is after everything's painted. Uh, you can see everything that I didn't get a video on. Here's the command stands. Trim on the musicians. You know, a lot of red lines and then dotting the red with yellow. Clear coat with the airbrush. I uh, use model, uh, mission model. After the clear coat, then I get them all based up. And here's everything all based up on all the bases. After the glue is dried for that, then I do the ground texture. Usually let it sit overnight, and then it's dried enough, I can paint the base, uh, this espresso color and then do a dry brush with the ochre brown. And after that's done, then I can do a static grass on top of that to finish it all up. And after it's all said and done, here we go. The final thing for everything is to uh, print out the flags and glue them on, which that'll be a separate video in and of itself. If anybody's interested, let me know. I can do a video on how I do my flags. But other than that, I'll let the music carry you all out. Thanks for watching. Talk to y'all later.